get the invitation. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be a privilege. You know, there may be people in the audience or the people who are watching this. I gave, uh, I accepted the invitation. I want to tell you what, what happened with me. And, you know, and you, you don't have to be, it's not brain surgery, I can tell you this. It's not, it's just the biggest deal in my life, but it was simple. On December 25th, 1980, at 3 o'clock in the morning, Christmas morning, uh, with the light that shatters, shatter, and I needed to change. I had the TV set on, and there was a preacher who told me if I wanted to change my life. Just change my life. Become a new correct creation. All I had to do was allow Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I didn't know anything about the Bible. Didn't know much. Jewish kid from Great Neck Long Island. He said, just get down on your knees. And I'm not saying you have to get down on your knees. I'm just telling you that's what I did. You know, you can probably do it standing up. And he said, and he gave me, and he, he told me to repeat the sinner's prayer, which in my case was, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've totally screwed up my life. My life is in a shambles. I need your help. I need your power in my life. I, I ask you to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Please come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. And let me, and let me be your servant and, and, and look to you. Please heal me and be my Lord and Savior. And that's what I did. And you want to use your own words? can do that, but I mean, there are different ways of saying it, but the same thing, invite Jesus and accept Jesus' invitation. He holds out his hand, he knocks at the door, he says, invite me in for supper, I'm going to eat with you, just invite me into your life and I'll be with you, and that's what I did, and my whole life changed after that, everything changed after that, everything got healed after that, started from that point, December 25th, 1980, for me. The truth of the matter is, I sought to do that every day. I sought to look to Jesus every day and put on the full armor of God. So, but that was the first day, and everybody has their first day. So if you're having problems in your life, if you want to change in your life, you want to have a magnificent life, you want to have somebody on your side that will never leave you, you can always look to at 3 o'clock in the morning when you're worried about all that other stuff that's going on, you want to be able to talk to somebody who's always on your side and will always listen to you. Jesus is waiting to be invited into your life. Just say that prayer. Say it now. Don't think about it. How's this going to work? Don't worry about the Trinity or all this other stuff. Just ask Him to come into your life. And so I ask you to do that. God bless you. Amen. And I'm going to turn over the Woody to... So, so Russell, when, uh, when the young man asked... Uh, Dr. Bob, what does God have to do with it? What did Bob, what did Bob, Bob, Bob tell him? He said everything. Everything. 